What is going on YouTube? This is Vice speaking and welcome back to part 8 of the Dragon Quest 3 playthrough. In the last episode, we finally, finally redeemed ourselves as we freed the city of Norvik, or however you pronounce it, from the sleeping spell that was cast on them by the fairies. In this episode, we complete a long overdue quest and finally go get this king's crown back because it means a lot to them and there's some Robin Hood character that we need to track down and bring to justice. So, uh, not much else to say, let's say we get a move on here, start exploring this tower. Now I did see a guy up here, I'm gonna try and talk to him. This here is the Skyfell Tower, famed for its head spinning heights. Oh, well, okay. Thank you for that. Oh, well, there's a staircase. Let's see if there's anything over this way. A chest. 430 gold. I'll take it. That's awesome. Now we can make our way up. You know, I'm going to talk for a bit here. Um, it'll mean I can't cut out battles, but that's all right. Um, how the heck are you guys doing? I mean, I'm very excited. Um, as you may or may not know, well, this video is weird because it's going to come out way after November 15th. But tomorrow is the day that um, Pokemon Sword and Shield actually comes out, which is super awesome in my opinion. I absolutely cannot wait for that game. I've seen so many good things about it. I've even seen, um, I've seen gameplay from people who have gotten the game early, and it is just looking like a banger, man. Um, I was really disappointed in the uh, the Pokemon community from how big a deal they made of the fact that they are um, cutting out. What thing am I trying to say? They're cutting parts of the uh, they're ca cutting the entire national decks. Excuse me. Um, you know, people are making that like the end of the world. Yeah, honestly, like looking at this game and watching people play it, I could not care any less. You know, Pokemon is still giving me the things that I love about Pokemon and that's all that really matters if you're asking me um, so yeah I, I'm just nobody can stop me from being excited it's gonna be such such an awesome game I cannot wait I almost fell off oh my gosh that was scary I was so close to falling off I turned my thumb at the last second um, anyways um, not many other releases that I can think of off the top of my head that are coming out soon. Now, uh, Luigi's Mansion already came out. Um, I was addicted to that, to that game for a little while. It really is an awesome, it's a beautifully made game. Um, I feel like everybody should try it out. Um, we got a bronze shield here. Can anybody make use of that? No, we all... Scale shields are better than bronze shields? I didn't know that. Well... Of course, Betty can't equip it, so we're putting it in the bag. Betty can't equip anything. It's annoying. Um, oh, since I'm talking, um, oh my goodness, I have to thank one of my good friends. I don't want to name their name just for the sake of, you know, doxing them, but um, there's a friend that I have that's helping me, like, literally taking the time out of their day to review these videos for me and give me their feedback. And you, you know, if you look in the description, every single video I put, like, feedback is always appreciated because I really do love knowing what people think um, I want to make these videos the best that they can possibly be and that person is going so far out of their way to help me out and it's just uh, it it's so awesome man I'm so grateful for the people I have in my life um, don't even get me started on my family they are just the most amazing people on the face of the earth um, anyways we've got a, a quest to start tackling we need to find the next floor here. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's shady. What the heck are you doing? Let's see what he says. This place has been home to the world's greatest bandits for generations. Ah, just feel the history. Is that why you're hanging around here? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna start talking again so the battles won't be cut out. Sorry if that's a big deal. Uh, but I have to talk about this. Guys, KSI beat Logan Paul. I bought the dang the zone for a month. It was twenty dollars, but I didn't care because I just wanted to see that fight, and it was so 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 amazing. Um, but the best part for me, guys, 
and if you were watching, you know, um, at the end when KSI won and he was giving his, you know, victory speech, um, and the guy asked, he was like, you know, boxing is a gentleman's sport, do you think that you and Logan Paul have officially squashed this beef? And JJ just looked at him for what felt like five hours, but of course it was only like seven seconds, and he was like, he was like, you know what? All right, all right, and they shook each other's hands. And guys, that was just so powerful for me, because like, at the end of the day, they were grown men. You know, they didn't they didn't decide to hold grudges or anything like that. They really straight up put it behind them, and that was just I had so much respect for them at that point. Um, it was so huge, and for Logan to um, take his loss on the chin, you know, not be a sore, a uh, dang uh, sore loser or anything. But he took it. He took it like a man. He was like, JJ was the better fighter tonight, and I really respect that. You know, I can't stand sore losers, man. Um, it's one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, speaking of sore losers, Jake Paul. Unfortunately, I can't talk good about all the Pauls, man. Jake uploaded a video of him, like, crying and blaming Shannon Briggs. And, you know, of course, leading up to the fight, like, I was one of those people who was like, Shannon, just stop talking. Like, you're so loud. But seeing him in that video, he was like, you know, he seemed like a genuine dude. He was like, uh, you know, talking normal. He wasn't just screaming, let's go champ, let's go champ. No, he was like, Jake, what you need to understand is um, you're not hurting me. You're hurting your brother by blaming other people for his loss when you should be celebrating um, the fact that he got in the ring and all that. He was just very mature. Now let me get on with the game. I'm talking too much. <laughs> Oi, you lot. Looks like we got some unwanted guests here. What are you going to do about it? Just what we need. We better let the boss know, eh? Well, I'm following, so... I'm just letting you know that I'll be right behind you. Now, should I make preparations? I think I will. Um, let's heal Margaret. I think that's pretty much all I need to do. Betty's health is so low that it's actually fine. Fair play to you. You've done alright making it this far. But if you think you're gonna catch me that easy, you got another thing coming. See ya! <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, okay. If they sent me back to the first floor, I would have thrown my switch out the window. I'm not kidding. Are you kidding me right now? There's... They're straight up gone. I have no idea what to do. I don't want to, you know, jump off the north end of this tower because we made so much progress. Uh, this is a tough one. I'm gonna cut away. I'll see you guys in, like, literally a second. Okay, well, um, I guess, I guess our only course of action is to yeet ourselves off the north side of this tower. Uh, now, apparently, there's gonna be a surprise for us on the way down, and there is. Gah, you don't give up, do you? Well, if you're so bleeding desperate for a piece of Robin Hood, I'll give you one. Come here, you! Hey, I'll take you on any day, man. I'll eat these dudes for breakfast. Do you know who you're stepping to? I guarantee I'll beat these guys in like four turns, max. Well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't place bets, but I'm confident. Let's use our, uh, oh no, they're not a group. Dang, that makes things difficult. Well, not really, but it makes things annoying. But that's what Bang is for. Bang doesn't care if you're part of a group or not. You're all getting hit. Let's see, we're gonna sap Robin Hood here. Decreases defense, so we're doing more damage. Oh, he wasn't affected. That sucks. But, um, got some good damage on those knights. Okay, maybe I under uh, underestimated them a little bit. They're not pushovers by any means. But... I think we're gonna come out with the win. Now, what do I want to do? Uh, let's just heal Betty for the heck of it. Betty always needs somebody to heal her. Come on, Betty. Dang, oh, see? That was a good thing I healed her this turn. I was not anticipating how they would, you know, target her. In fact, I never anticipated because she's the last in the lineup. I don't, I honestly do not get why so many enemies target her. It's either Vice, Marcella, or Betty. You would think it'd always be Vice or Marcella, and rarely Margaret and Betty, but that's just not the case. Uh, very strange to me, but what are you going to do? I'm going to 
want to attack with Margaret. Betty, keep it up with the bangs. Just spreading that damage around. Robin Hood shit. Oh, Robin Hood one. His name's not even Robin Hood. I didn't even realize that. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. Wait a- Whoa, 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 whoa. When did that happen? I must have been paying horrible attention because I did not notice that Betty died. When did that happen? Oh, goodness. The only reason it sucks is because she's going to miss out on good experience. And I can't stand when there's like huge differences in the... 813? 813. And you're telling me she just couldn't last one more turn. Oh, goodness gracious, man. Ugh. Okay, at least Vice is leveling up. I feel a new spell. Crossing my fingers, he learns Evac. Eh, not bad. We already knew that spell, but... Margaret also going up to 15. Really amazing HP and MP. Um, her stats are... Look at that, 3, 2, 3, 3, 4? That is ridiculous. And Betty's just... She's just dead. She doesn't know what just happened. Alright, alright. It's a fair cop. I'll give the poxy crown back. Just let me go, will ya? Yeah, sure. Cheers, ears. You're a saint. Be lucky, eh? Ta-ta! <laughs> they just jump. Well, let's take the crown. And that is a quest completed. I guess not yet, because first we gotta get out of here and actually return the crown. Um, so let's go ahead and zoom to Romeria. First things first, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna revive Betty. If there's a Is there no church in this town? Man, this game is whack. Are you serious? Nothing up here. Okay guys, slight detour, just bear with me. Now we're going to Aliahan because of course, you know, there's a church here, but on top of that. You don't have to pay for an inn, you can actually just go to your house and your mom will let you sleep and heal up for free. So I like going back to Aliahan. Um, you know, it just saves money in the long run. At least I'm hoping. I'm not gonna save a ton of money, but it is pretty useful, so keep that in mind. Now Betty's back with us, we can make our way home speak to our mother who we haven't seen since setting out on our quest it's been a while surprise hey mom oh welcome home muffin my dear sweet vice you must be worn out from all that running around come on now off to bed with you what's that of course your little friends can stay too the more the merrier good night children <laughs> Okay, I don't know about I don't know about you, but if my mom let me sleep over with three different girls, <laughs> that's just not a good look. Let's be honest here. But this is a game, you know, we don't have to take it so seriously. Now, we can finally return to Romeria. Speak to this king, you know, we kept him waiting like eight years. He can't be too happy about this, but we got it done and that's all that matters, right? Right. Come up this way. Can it really be true? Have you brought our crown back to us, Vice? You are a hero indeed, worthy of a realm of your own rule, deserving of a crown. Will you take the crown off our dear country in my stead? It weighs so heavily upon my brow. Ascent, and I will abdicate. I can't speak English. Ascent, and I will advocate immediately in your favor. So, will you accept the priceless gift I offer? I don't know, um, do I? I mean, the good person in me wants to say no, but I don't know if you can, like, use it as an item or equip it. So, uh, for this one time, I'm actually gonna accept his gift. Excellent! Then it is decided. Long live Vice, Regent of Romeria. <laughs> they gave us a nice little fanfare. Wait, whoa, whoa! I didn't know that is what they meant! What is going on? What is going on here? They, I'm literally his majesty.
No, no, I'm done with this. I, I can't. Are you serious? Are they not gonna let me? Did I just mess up? Did I just ruin this game? What? No, I am not your new king. I just thought he'd give me the crown. I didn't know he'd give me his soul to transfer into my body. What is happening right now? Okay, she actually just talked about the wizard staff, um, confirming that it lets you cast this. So that was, that was a silver lining in this very strange turn of events. A king would never stoop to carrying his possessions. Come on, man. This ain't funny. How do I turn back? I don't want to stay like this forever. And they're not gonna let me leave, right? Uh-huh. But I'm the king, so you can't tell me that I have to stay here, right? If I give the order, you need to move. This is, oh my gosh. He went down the stairs. Oh, okay. Where the heck is he? Where the heck? Am I missing him? Does he look like a normal person now? Former king. Yes, yes, yes. Is the throne here? No. Yes. Oh, thank goodness, man. That was freaking me out. <laughs> Okay, guys, I say we call that an episode. We got a lot done today. Um, if you did enjoy this video, you can always give it a like. If you did not, you can dislike and tell me what I can do to improve these videos in the comments. With all of that said, guys, I'm going to let the outro do its thing, and I will see you guys in the next episode, all right? I'm out of here.